You know, stews usually take from an hour and a half to two hours, but we have this little handy dandy pressure cooker that speeds things up, and I've already started uh, browning off some ba chopped bacon. And we're going to save the bacon fat and brown the cubes of beef that Merle has cut up for stew. Do you have those yet? Yeah, got them right here. You ready for them? Yeah. Okay, just in here. Right, and while you're going to do that, I'm going to get the vegetables prepared for this stew. Okay. And as Neva, as, as I, I, I think I told you, Neva, she likes to cook. <laughs> She doesn't like to spend a lot of time at it, so uh, she uses this pressure cooker a lot because it, uh, it does things about three to 10 times faster in a pressure cooker. Okay, this gets browned off. Can I borrow your spoon for a second? Okay. Okay, and what are you doing? Well, what I'm doing next is to saute the vegetables that will go into the stew after the meat is browned. Okay, and while this is browning, I'll go get your mushrooms ready. Uh, quarter them, please. Quarter, okay. So we have here just some sliced carrots and some pearl onions and these will cook for about five minutes and in the meantime your beef is br uh, browning in this pot and that. let's get s are you ready with those no mushrooms? no I just go, we're gonna stir the beef up I'm a little bit here and add uh, this looks like it's about ready I'll add some uh, onions, onions yeah. chopped onions and some uh, chopped garlic and a bay leaf and stir that in and then I'll go back to your mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to mix the seasonings and the liquid that's going to go into the stew. First we have red wine and some tomato paste, a little bit of water, salt and pepper, and a little extra thyme. Are you Are ready for ready these? Just these dump them in. In here? Yep. Okay. Okay, how's our meat? Is it all brown? Just about there. Okay. Now these vegetables don't have to be totally cooked at this point because they're going to cook a little bit longer after the pressure cooking aspect of this recipe is done. But we want to get at least a little bit of these vegetables done, particularly the carrots. Okay, this is about ready for the liquid, honey. You want to pour that wine in here? Uh, okay. Okay. Now what's this got? Oh, you told them I what told it's got them in them. Okay, okay, that's got all those wonderful seasonings and spices and stuff. Okay. okay, there's our liquid. Now, I'm going to put the lid on this guy. And to do that, we just, if there's an arrow here, there's an arrow, an arrow down here, and an arrow here, and you line those up, and uh, snap it closed, turn the heat up, and when this thing starts to uh, rock, that's when you, uh, you start your timer. And turn the heat down to keep that going. And then, no, okay, let's switch this one to this one that's already, uh, has already come to a, uh, and, and we can now this is down we can open it up and oh, there's okay. your stew now I can put, put in the, uh, the veggies in. oh it's smelling good honey stir I'll stir that, that a little bit now this will cook a little bit longer yeah maybe just about five minutes really just enough to sort of blend it because yeah, you already cooked remember the bacon that I had cooked earlier it's sort of like a garnish yeah, and it like adds a lot of flavor I think too Toss that in yeah mm. stir that up and uh, there you have it, burgundy beef stew, served with a little bit of rice, so one of our favorites, cooked in a pressure cooker.